Hello! In this episode, we take a look at Rails authentication with ThoughtBot's clearance so we can protect and secure our web application. Let's code! Okay, I'm on the ThoughtBot clearance GitHub page. Now, the great thing about clearance is it's got amazing documentation and a great group of contributors. Now, it's actually quite simple to get this up and running, so let's get started. The first step is let's create a new Rails app. Rails new top secret. Okay, once we've done that, let's create a pages controller. Oops. Generate controller pages. It will have an index and a secret page, which we will protect. Okay, now let's open up the Rails server to make sure everything's up and running. Let's go to localhost port 3000, uh, 3, sorry. Great, that's up and running. What I'm gonna do now is just quickly change the route. We'll make the index as the root. And let's go to our next page. Let's just call this top secret authorized personnel only. And in our secret page, the answer to life is and that's the secret we're trying to protect. Now, if we go back to our browser and refresh the site, top secret. Now, what happens if we visit our secret page? Now, it's not protected. So let's go ahead and protect that. First step is to open up the gem file. Let's add clearance. Bundle install. Great. Now it's created a migration file for us. Well, first we need to run. The generator, so Rails generate clearance install. Okay, fantastic. Now we're just going to copy this from for now. We'll put in our application layout. Put it here. Okay, so since we've run generate clearance install, it's created a migration file for us. It's going to create a user table and it's going to handle all these things. Now, what we have to do is run our migration, Rails db migrate great if we refresh our site let's go back to the root page need to restart a server first try again there we go we've got a sign in link here Okay, let's take a look at that. 
layout file. So where did that come from? That came from these helpers. So if we're signed in, we'll get signed in as, a, signed in as the current user email, which is us, or else there'll be a sign in path. So let's go ahead and sign, uh, create an account. Oh, first let's try and sign in. As you can see, that didn't work at all. So let's sign up. Actually, before we sign up, let's. what we'll need to do is we'll need to try and protect our secret page or the entire page. So we'll go to our controllers, pages controller. And all we have to do here is Put required login. So we need to attach it to a before action. Require login. That's a symbol. Now if we go back. Oops. So as, so as you can see we were not able to access the home page there. So let's sign up through super top secret. Password will be secret. Great. So up here we've got signed in as super, top, super at top dot secret. You can sign out. And now what we can do is we can go to pages secret. We can get that. Just to make it a bit more clear, let's create a link here. So let's do let's do horizontal rule. So we can do uh, link to, and we'll call it um, home, and this is the root path. And we'll call it my secret, link to my secret. This is going to be the pages secret. Path. There we go. So if we sign out, let's try this again. So it requires us to log in at home and it requires us to log in at secret. Now what what about if we only want my secrets page to be secure and people can view what's on the home page, the root page. It's quite easy. In our before action, all we have to do then is put only secret. If we go back to home, as you can see, we've got our home page. You can see the contents of that. But if we get to my secret, it's requiring us to log in. So let's log in. Super top secret password is secret. There we go, answer to life. Fantastic. And there you have it clearance. Um, there's a lot more to it. You can add configuration, you can actually also attach views or override the views by generating the views yourself. And you can also add constraints within the routes. But take a look. Big thanks to ThoughtBot and everybody that's contributed to this fantastic authentication library. Uh, let me know how you go with it. Until next time.